All right. Um, to uh, simplify this rational expression, I need to uh, find the common denominator because I'm adding and subtracting rational expressions with different denominators. So the first step I need to do here is we need to factor this uh, polynomial, this binomial which is a difference of squares. x squared minus 25 can be factored the following way. It will be x uh, plus 5 times uh, x minus 5. If you multiply these two binomials, you're going to get x squared minus 25. So I just factor uh, that binomial and I wrote it into uh, a product or a multiplication of binomial factors. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is find the least common denominator. And how do I find the least common denominator? First, I find what factors are in common among all these denominators. So I notice that the x minus 5 is in common. And I also notice that the x plus 5 is also a common factor. And check if there's any factor that is not common. Well, there's, n there's no other factors here. So your common denominator will be x minus 5 times x plus 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these fractions, these rational expressions with this denominator here. Okay, I want to have uh, the denominator to be x minus 5 times x plus 5. So let me highlight this and let me copy it here and what I want is or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this by a fraction that is equivalent to 1 but I wanna make x minus 5 becomes x minus 5 times x plus 5 so I want this denominator become this denominator here okay so I already have x minus 5 what I'm missing is the x plus 5 and whatever I multiply on the bottom, I'm going to multiply on the top. And I'm going to do something similar for the next uh, ration, uh, rational expression, this fraction here. I have x plus 5, but I want to have the denominator x minus 5 times x plus 5. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 5. Okay. Now when I go to the third uh rational expression, the third fractions, I already had the denominator, the common denominator, so I don't need to do anything to it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start simplifying. I already know my denominator is going to be x minus 5 times x plus 5, and now I'm going to start multiplying uh, here. For example, let me start with this one here. Multiply x plus 3 times x plus 5. And I'm going to do FOIL, but I'm going to do it mentally. So x times x is x squared. Uh, so x times x is x squared. Then I'm going to multiply 3 times x is 3x. And x times 5, that's 5x. So in total, I'm going to have 8x. And then 3 times 5, that will be 15. So I already did FOIL with these two. Let me continue for the next one. So minus, okay. Now I'm going to do FOIL with these two. So x times x is x squared. Uh, x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. So in total, that will make negative 6x. And then negative 1 times negative 5, that's positive 5. Okay. Now, the reason I kept this parenthesis is because there was a minus here. Okay, so which means I'm going to be subtracting this trinomial minus this trinomial. Okay, and of course I still have plus whatever I have here, the x minus 45. Now, um, let's get rid of this parentheses here. And the, re the way I get rid of this parentheses is distributing this minus sign. Believe it or not, there's like a minus, there's a minus 1 there distribute and look what we're gonna get we're gonna get um, let me see we're gonna get negative x squared and this will become plus 6x and this plus 5 becomes minus 5 now I can delete this because I don't need it the next step is I'm gonna combine like terms I hope you noted that this x squared cancels out with this x squared so let me take them away from there Okay, um, 
this 8x added with a 6x, that's 14x, plus another x, that's 15x. So I can take this away, and I can take this away. And then 15 minus 5, that's going to be uh, 10, and 10 minus uh, 45, that will make uh, minus uh, 55, okay? In fact, I did a computational mistake. 10 minus 5 is 10, and 10 minus 45 is minus 35. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to check is if I can factor the numerator. Okay, if there's anything I can factor here, I can factor out the 5. So if I factor out the 5, I'm going to have, uh, let's see. If I take out 5, then this will become 3x, and this will become 7. I just divided each term by 5. The reason I factor out is to check if, if there's any factor I can cross out, because it makes 1, okay, when you divide. But uh, fortunately, there's nothing to factor here. So this will be my final answer. And this is how you do the same problem you ask for assistance. I hope this helps.